The human race often looks for meaning in our lives. We look to ancient history and the stories of wealthy royalty to enlighten us about our origins and perhaps plant the possibility that we could one day accomplish much and gain an abundance of luxury and treasures of our own. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at interesting discoveries. There's a new species taking over at Chernobyl. Have you ever wondered what happens when people abandon 1,600 square miles as a result of radioactivity? Normally you would not think that, but apparently wildlife runs wild. A recent study that focuses on animals in the Chernobyl exclusion zone has shown that the once wasteland is presently filled with roe and red deer, wild boar, wolves and elk. Researchers performed aerial surveys in the exclusion zone during the winter months between 1987, a year after the disaster occurred, and 1997. They relied on tracks in the snow in order to determine animal populations. What they found was the number of animals in the area was similar to the numbers in four uncontaminated nature reserves close by. However, the number of the wolves alone was more than seven times higher than that of the wolves in the reserves. The numbers of the other species inhabiting the Chernobyl exclusion zone seemed to increase at times as well. While the elk and wild boar populations were decreasing elsewhere in the former Soviet Union. However, some researchers argue that even though the wildlife numbers are very likely much higher at Chernobyl in comparison to before the accident, that does not mean that radiation is good for wildlife. It just suggests that the effects of things like hunting, farming, and forestry which are byproducts of human habitation, are a lot worse. On the other hand, there are researchers who have studied birds in the exclusion zone who say that this research only applies to large mammals who would normally be living under the pressures of hunting, as opposed to the vast majority of animals that are not directly influenced by human habitation, like most birds, small mammals and insects. Furthermore, some researchers argue that because the research did not focus on radiation exposure, it did not address the question of whether radiation has effects on things like reproduction, survival, longevity and general health of the animals that were surveyed. Scientists bring eyes back to life There are an infinite number of ways to live your life, from different occupations to different hobbies, from different cultures to different goals. It's fair to go as far as to suggest that no person will ever experience life the same way you have. It's simply not possible. We do have one uniting experience as a species, in fact, as living beings altogether, and that is when our life comes to an end. However, scientists could be on their way to removing this uniting factor, as scientists think that they could have reversed the end of life by bringing eyes back to life. Organ donation is a truly important process, helping us to make advancements like this one and save thousands of lives. Scientists had observed eyes from organ donors continuing to respond to light even five hours after the death of the donor. One of the authors of the study commented, it raises the question of whether brain dead, as it is currently defined, is truly irreversible. We currently consider this to be when someone is unable to survive without life support, meaning that all of the functions of their brain have stopped and, as far as our modern knowledge can understand, there is no chance of revival. Due to this irreversible nature, once someone has been declared brain dead, they are considered to have passed on and are declared as such. The method the team used to conduct these observations can be applied to tissues in the central nervous system, such as the spine or the brain, allowing for more developments and further conclusions to be drawn. The lead author of the study, Dr. Fatima Abbas, of the Moran Eye Center at the University of Utah said, we were able to wake up photoreceptor cells in the human macula, which is the part of the retina responsible for our central vision and our ability to see in fine detail and color. They continued explaining that the eyes were able to respond to various light stimuli up to five hours after the initial patient's death. The eyes reacting to bright light, colored lights and dim flashes of light. One of the elements of being deceased is the loss of neural activity, though one branch of science, one that is considered to be highly controversial, has begun to look at how to reverse the neural activity 
hypothetically pushing life into the organs that have seemingly ended. A study published in the scientific journal Nature in 2019 looked at bringing life back to the brains of deceased pigs. This Yale-based research team found that they managed to reinstate the blood circulation of the large organs four hours after the pigs had died. The difference between this study conducted at the University of Utah and the Yale study using pigs is that the new Utah study has managed to successfully create a connection and form communication between the neurons. This study has huge potential for scientific advancement, not only in the ability to possibly reverse the end of someone's life, but in understanding and studying human vision in a manner we simply cannot replicate through lab animals, and in increasing our understanding of the role and function of different parts of our brain, both in life and in death. While it's a baffling concept to imagine that when a loved one's time has come, you could simply bring them back, this technology and scientific capability could be within human reach in the not-too-distant future. What do you think? Should humans be able to manipulate life like this? The scientific world is always continuously developing, with one discovery after the next. We can only wonder what will be uncovered next. Twenty-five thousand-year-old human genome recovered from cave soil. Another bioarchaeological study has made room to discover more about the human past. A team of researchers from across the globe managed to find genome samples of a human, a wolf, and a bison in a 2021 study. The genomes came from a singular sediment sample dating back from before the Ice Age and were found, much like the aforementioned fourth strand of human ancestry, in the Caucasus Caves in western Georgia. To be specific, this sediment sample was found in the Satserblia cave site. Before this study, bioarchaeological studies have found that layers of sediment from caves, for example, are capable of preserving ancient DNA for thousands of years. This knowledge is immensely valuable, as we do not always have skeletal remains available for analysis, though it is a tool that can be hard to utilize. This is because sometimes the low number of sequences that can be retrieved places a heavy constraint upon the analysis, limiting the information we can find only to identification and preventing us finding further ancestral or phylogenetic information. In this research study, published in Current Biology and led by Ron Penhassi and Per Gellibert from the University of Vienna, the team performed sequencing on six sedimentary samples, searching for mammalian DNA. It was from this singular Pleistocene soil sample, which radiocarbon dating estimates to be from between 22,200 BC and 23,500 BC, that a successful human environmental genome was found. The analysis has revealed that the genome is from a female or even several females, and the lineage shows a now extinct line split from western hunter-gatherer populations. This sample, along with the other mammal samples that were uncovered, will undergo further analysis before more conclusions are drawn. But this study serves as an example of how detailed the information we can uncover can be, even without any skeletal remains. In a research area as fascinating but complex as the human evolutionary path, there is an unending number of possibilities, from facts to uncover to an understanding to develop. We can hope to gradually increase our knowledge of the human historical timeline and as we gain more advanced technology, knowledge, and resources, it becomes possible to discover more with each passing year. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.